So here we have the Jemmy life-sized animated skeleton. This is actually the first product that I had intended to review, but here we are about 10 videos in and I'm finally just now getting around to it because it requires a little bit of um, putting together and you know that's not my strong point. So we'll tackle it together and see how this works. Um, I got this at the at-home store last year at the clearance. Um, it, Retailed for $80. I got it at the 75% off mark, so it was you know, roughly about $20. I kind of kicked myself because they had um, two of them left in stock, but I only got the one. Um, not sure how well it's going to work. It comes with a wired microphone that allows you to speak through the skeleton. You know, acting is clearly not my strong point, so it's probably a product I'm not going to get too much use out of. I was actually kind of hoping... Um, I might be able to hook it up to like a um, some music of some sort. Maybe it'll look like it's singing. I don't know. We'll test it. We'll find it out. Um, so let's pop it open and see what's inside. Now, he is supposed to be five feet tall. It actually has some stickers on the back where they covered up previous information. So when I tried to figure out how tall they originally um, advertised it as, you know, it was ripping it off so I couldn't actually see. Um, but the wired mic, apparently, this started out as a Bluetooth-capable um, item, but I guess they changed that to the wired mic. So offhand, we've got a nice skull here. The wired mic. Let's see some instructions. Probably going to need those. Let's pull it out. Actually, it doesn't look like it will require too much putting together. A couple of heavy pieces here. Um, just looking at it, his eyes are supposed to light up. Um, it says, and body lights up. I'm not really sure how the body's going to light up. It doesn't look like that in the picture either. Oh, maybe it does, actually, along the spine. So we'll see. It's got the wired mic. It speaks spooky phrases, moving mouth animation, sound and motion activated. So... Let's see, we're going to need some scissors. Grab those here from my friend. Thank you. All right, let's pop off these zip ties. And I did get a lot of stuff at the clearance at the at home store. They have a lot of good Halloween products. I was actually very impressed with their selection. Um, got a lot of the um, inflatable toys, or I should say decorations. Um, from them last year. So I've started reviewing those if you haven't um, caught my last video. Um, if you have, hopefully you gave it a like. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. Let's see what happens here. Just sort of sit in here for the moment. Maybe. Hopefully he'll stay. All right. Pop these off. Clearly we've got a stand. See if we can figure this out on our own without the instructions. It doesn't seem too complicated yet. Let's pop these in place. And that doesn't fit too well, but there it goes. All right. So looks like the head just you no. Know, Oh, looks like I'm going to need to read the instructions. So give me a minute. Okay, um, I've glanced at the instructions. It didn't really explain this. And that's what I don't like about these instructions. Um, they give a diagram. Of course, the one part I'm confused about, they don't actually show um, in the diagram how it's supposed to work exactly. Um, clearly this head needs to slide on here somehow. Hmm. Does it just... Okay. Okay. All right, there's a little slot. It's very difficult to push this thing in there. I've only got it about three quarters of the way. It's inching down slightly. 
I was almost thinking we'd have to take this piece off because it looks like it's just screwed to the neck piece. But I guess it just sits like that, which looks a little odd. But if there's another way to do it, I don't understand how. Okay, well, there we go. He's a little off balance. Now this piece here will actually connect um, to his torso down there um, so he can stand up. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna leave him sitting here. There's a little cord here that I am going to plug into the back of the neck. There we go, that was easy. There is a battery compartment. Um, let's see what happens. Unscrew it. You know, that's my favorite thing to do. All right, here we go. All right. Looks like it requires four AA batteries. I was actually wondering about that because it didn't say on the box. Um, fortunately, these are the four that I've been using for all these videos, so hopefully will work. Let's see. Let's pop them in the back. I guess I'll just turn them around here. Yeah. All right, a little bit cumbersome. I guess just so you can see what I'm doing, there's the battery compartment here in the back. Just popping the batteries in. There is an on-off switch. It looks like there, it says, um, can't quite read that. Oh, sensor, mic, and off. I believe it's in the off position right now. That will just screw right back in. That's good. All right, let's turn them back around. All right, well. Let's see what happens. Oh, battery compartment didn't screw in right, but... I'm not sure if you can understand that, but I think it said something about candy. Definitely not very clear. Where's my mummy? Where's my mummy? I have absolutely no How idea. About some candy? <laughs> How about some candy again? Where's my money? <laughs> All right, we'll turn that off. Let's see how the microphone works. All right. Stay. 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 All right, let's try the stand and see how that works. Here, looks like he just slides up right through there. Oh, not just right. All right. Oh, that was the back cover. I didn't actually get that screw in like I thought I did. But I think he's all right. Let's turn him back on. <laughs> understand what he says but it sounds like there's only three phrases so let's see hopefully this doesn't need a battery because if it does we're screwed all right you just it just plugs in to the back all right hello And we are back. All right, I've been playing around with this a little bit. I find that the slower that you speak into the microphone actually 
um, helps it. It sounds a little bit better and the mouth moves along with the words. If you speak quickly, hello, my name is Mr. Bones. I guess that actually wasn't as bad as most of the time that I've been playing with it. It, you know, the mouth can't keep up, obviously. I mean, it's an $80 prop. What are you going to expect? Of course, I only paid $20 for it, so I like it even more. But, um, you know, it's kind of a neat prop. It works well enough for, you know, its purposes. I do like the fact that it lights up. I think that's kind of neat, so it'll be noticeable, um, you know, if you're going to hide in the bushes and try and get your trick-or-treater's attention. I think it's going to suit um, suit it just fine. I, the sound, though, I don't know, you know, I was thinking that maybe I'd be able to hook it up to some music or something and see if it'll sing. I don't think it's going to be nearly good enough for that. Um, but, you know, for little kids, I think they're going to love this if you have someone who's going to want to be there to you know, speak to them back and forth. For my purposes, you know, it's probably not. It might be a you know, as part of a party situation where you could just, you know, a one-time quick introduction with your talking skeleton or something, but, you know, I'm certainly not gonna devote my time to this prop um, for any sort of, you know, full length period of time. Um, but overall, you know, it works well, it does what it says. It's certainly sound and motion activated. Um, it's not quite as life-size as I would like. Of course, you know, I'm almost 6'4", so, of course, that's not gonna be as tall as me, but at five foot, it seems a little small um, for life size, but you know, a lot of the Halloween decorations these days seem to be like three feet tall, and that just irritates the heck out of me. Um, doesn't look realistic at all. I guess he kind of looks realistic. You know, the eyes, eh, I'm getting used to. I kind of like them, but you know, my other skeleton back there without the eyes looks, you know, if not just as spooky, certainly spookier. Uh, but it is what it is. It's a good product. It is Jemmy, if I didn't mention that. I'm sure we'll see these in the home goods store again this year. Well, I'm not sure, but we'll find out here because they're starting to put out the Halloween props. If you checked out my last video, I did a small walkthrough of the props that they'd started putting out. And I'm going to be um, heading back there into the other stores to see you know, what products are out there and um, take a look at it with you if you want to go ahead and give us a subscribe. Um, and then I'm also going to be reviewing all the products that I purchased last year um, and all the products I'll be purchasing this year as well. Hopefully, you know, um, I've got so much backlog. I'm not sure how much we'll get to before Halloween this year, but we'll give it our best. So hopefully I'll see you around for that and uh, happy haunting.